Yo, what up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to farm Zarachi as a solo. So the first thing, we're just going to get right into it. We're going to talk about the ammo types and guns to use. Uh, the easiest ammo to farm in Zarachi and his guards is going to go ahead and be Tac X. The reason this is the easiest and the best one to use is Zarachi has a total of 150 head health and his guards have 125. So the only two bullets that can one tap him is Tac X and PS 12A. Uh, but as you guys know, PS12A has insanely bad drop, so Tac X is going to be the best option. It's going to be a one tap um, if you headshot all of them. And then that obviously goes in the Bolty Lapua, or if you have killed Sherman 25 times, you can use the Lapua. Uh, the second best option is going to be an RFB with M80. Now, BCP does have more flesh uh, than M80, and the guards don't have any armor. However, as you guys see when we farm, there is going to be a slight chance that you pen a metal gate. So due to the pen damage, uh, you're going to want to go ahead and use M80 over BCP. And then same thing, if you do master this uh, and you're feeling comfortable using a bolty, uh, you can go ahead and use a Mosin with LPS. Uh, same thing, it's going to go ahead and penetrate the gate if you do hit it, um, but it will get the job done. And then the best scope that actually is pretty budget that I found for doing this is the Schmindbender PM2, the three by 12. So there is one of these scopes that's similar uh, to the zoom variations of a Voodoo. However, this one is the alternative. Uh, this one does zoom in a lot more and it's gonna actually be perfect for killing the guard. So uh, it's pretty cheap. I definitely recommend using this. All right, so first things first, you wanna locate the bosses. So Zarachi has two guards. Zarachi will spawn right here on this mattress. And he also can spawn up here as well. Uh, and then he has two guards. One's located on the right side of these rocks. And then you have one located on the top left. So the way this works is if you go ahead and start farming the guards, uh, they'll keep respawning until they hit a limit of five total. To which then you can kill Zarachi in the last one. If you go ahead and kill Zarachi right off of the rip, then the guards won't respawn and you won't be able to min max the loot. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to kill this right guy uh, a total of four times. And then we're going to go ahead and rotate over to Zarachi. And then we're going to kill the last guy on the left. Uh, so again, this is the best way to profit and get the most loot. Um, if you feel more comfortable, like with a teammate, just killing Zarachi uh, and this guard on the right. Left one's fairly easy to kill. I'll show you guys in a little bit. However, we're gonna start off with the guys on the right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and line up on these two bags right here, somewhere around there. Now what I was doing at the beginning of this is I was actually setting up a prone angle to kill these guys on the right side first. Um, however, I was not having 100% success rate with it. I did find some troubles. Uh, some inconsistencies um, and then actually I was watching uh, one of hyper rats mods no fear I'll go ahead and link his channel below. He uh, actually kills Zarachi uh, all day on stream And what he was doing was he was lining up a right hand angle off of this 90 degree peak And he was having really good success rates. So kind of got this route inspired by him So I'll put his link down below because I was kind of having trouble at first with the prone peak But we learned the crouch peak is definitely the way to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a lineup right here on these two bags, uh, usually like right in between the two. And you want to find a right hand that you're able to see all the spawns. Now, these ones on the right, I think he might be in the most far right spawn or he might be able to go a little bit farther. Uh, and then they can go as left as this bush. So what you want to do is you line up your angle, you make sure you can see everything fine. And then we're going to make sure we have arm stamina. So for right here, we can just go ahead and headshot him. Should die in one shot. And now we wait. The second one takes about 30 seconds to 60 seconds to spawn. So uh, there is some downtime where probably look behind, make sure there's nobody sniping you. Uh, you want to have arm stamina for when they come back. So just make sure you are ready. It does take at least 30 seconds usually. And then the trick is you don't want to over peak because sometimes I did have one or two times where the sectants would get stuck on this rock. Um, oh, here he comes. So what he's going to do is he's going to prone to the spot. I'll show you this in real time so you know what it looks like. He sets up and then boom. Now we do have a one shot, one kill gun and bullet. So uh, if you are using like M80 or LPS, just 
make sure you're quick peeking you know you can still do it you just have to shoot and then unpeek and then again we just wait we just wait we just wait make sure we have arm stamina a little pre-peek so the way the crawling works is they'll always crawl to their location before they aggro you it's just a matter of figuring out where they're gonna crawl to so you can kind of decide if you want to take some shots while they're moving to try to get them or just wait i usually wait until they set up there's like a split second where they set up and try to aim where you can get a free shot on them looks like he's gonna be in the bush there he goes oh he's late he's late oh so he did set up in the bush so this is the hardest spot Considering as you can't really see them, right? We're gonna take a couple blind fires. I think we got him. He looks dead. So definitely the most sketchy spot for sure. Go ahead and pack some mags. We just got one more to kill. Again, once you get set up on this crouch peak, it is really, really easy. Um, <clears throat> you can use M80 or LPS. I would recommend trying to do it with flesh ammo first but again you can probably just jump right into it it's not too hard once you get the hang of it reason that does make m80 and lps a little bit better the chance that you do pen this metal right here when you're killing zarachi or his goons that obviously the ammo i have it has like zero pen so it's not really gonna do much but m80 and lps you can afford to pen a couple more shots here he comes probably gonna go far oh he stopped early all right, GG's. <clears throat> now, the easy part is done. Now, this usually is where we have trouble. So, Zorachi's a little bit more difficult. Gotta be a little bit more precise. What I have been doing is I've been coming to this third pole over from when it closes off. So, one, two, three. I line up my muzzle with that. And then if you aim over to the second one, up a couple inches and then in about an inch or two, you can usually have a decent idea on where your peak on Zarachi is going to be. Now, he is on the left side, so this is going to be super difficult. But we might be able to make something happen. So as right now, I'm not far enough left. It's better to be too shy than overextend because they will kill you immediately. Alright, in. In about an inch. Alright, so we got to back up a little bit because my muzzle's hitting the pipe. There's that first spawn, but he was on the second spawn. The left one's a little bit harder because you do have to farther extend, so. Let's see if we can't get a shot. He should be right there. You see him? I think we got him. Yeah. Okay, sweet. Wow, he actually didn't aggro us. So that's you can see. The left one is a little bit more hard, but we did have a moment where he didn't aggro us. Ideally, what you want to do is if you just shoot him once, it doesn't have to be a headshot or not. What he does is whatever location he's at, he'll immediately start wiggling to the other one. So even just getting a shot off on him, you can get a couple free shots as he's relocating. Uh, he would reco relocate to here and then vice versa. If he was there, he would relocate to here. So honestly, just getting shots on him is the biggest part. And then the last guy, the last guy is the easiest. He just crawled up to this truck up here, hugging as left as possible. This part is super easy. All right, you run up to the truck and then they don't shoot you through the window. Okay. And then what you're going to do is just line up a right hand on this guy right here. As you can see, he's right there. Free one tap. Boom. And that is how you kill Zarachi. Again, it's really just killing Zarachi that's the hardest. Um, you just want to always make sure that before you start killing the guys on the right, you want to get that line up on this pole. So again, third pull, about an inch up, and then here's that first spawn, and then here's that second spawn. So that is the key lineup. It is this pull, and then these two bags. I'm gonna stand in between them, roughly for the right hand. And yeah. Now for the mines, I'm going to show you guys the way that I've been doing it and the way that I feel most comfortable and have had the most success. So there is two mines that are kind of RNG still, but for the most part, it's pretty simple. So what you do is you come up to this first stack of concrete. You're going to want to slow crouch. <clears throat> Make sure you're all the way crouched. You might be um, a little uncrouched from killing the bosses earlier. And then I get my taiga out because you don't want the barrel of your gun overextending and activating mines too soon. So for this first one, you just walk into the wall, slow walking as slow as possible. 
should activate more towards the end. Right about here. All right, we run back over to the porta potty. Same thing. We got one on the porta potty just past this door. You want to hug right as hard as possible. Should activate right past it. Okay, we come up to the wire spools. This is one of the more RNG difficult ones that I've had trouble with. Um, usually it's not an issue, but every once in a while it will kill me. So you're going to want to lean right into the wire spool and just slow walk, slow, 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 slow walk. Should be be slightly past halfway slightly past halfway you want to make sure you're leaning right as well should be right about now and there's another one all right we go over to the tire this one's going to be about halfway up the tire if not a little bit more hugging it as far as possible this one's a little sketchy because you do overextend but it shouldn't kill you you can lean right if you want all right, come back between this rubble pile. Stay shy of it, though. If you cross the line, I believe you do die. So stay shy of the rubble. Going to go ahead and stay on this line and walk directly straight. Make sure you're more to the left. If you stay on the right, you could activate a mine. All right, we're going to go to this line that's perpendicular with the truck. We're going to walk slightly past it. We're going to initiate a slow walk. And then we're going to walk to this tire. Okay, we're gonna hug this. All right, well, we activate it. Now we're gonna get the butt cheek claymore. Activate this claymore with your butt cheek. Lean to the right and slowly backpedal. Nice. All right, now we're walking. Well, we're slow walking. I think you can run, but you know, better safe than sorry. We're gonna go ahead and walk in. You want to walk exactly parallel to this concrete and then walk straight onto it. From here, you're going to walk into this concrete concrete pile. Same thing. Hug it and slow walk. This one's pretty simple. Slow walk, slow walk, slow walk. Should activate. Perfect. Now, these two can be a little more difficult. I've, I have had to heal out of them. Um, pretty much as we're going to get to the corner of this slab. We're going to turn around prone while staring at this, the corner of these, these slabs. And there's one mine on the left and one on the right that we're going to slowly scooch back to. So I'll set it up slowly. We're going to back up into the corner. Okay. Now we'll do the left one first because I think the left one's closer. Should activate right now. Okay. We did take some damage there. A little sketchy, but everything's fine. Make sure we heal that off. Did take some leg damage. Let's just might as well top it off over here. All right. We do have one more and then we're home free. All right. So this next one, you're going to get on the right side of the 90 degree and you're just going to slowly do the same thing, but you're going to get a little bit more farther back to where it's pretty uncomfortable, but it should set it off. Sweet. Now, just slowly backtrack. We're going to make our way down here. And we're kind of home free. There's one more mine that could kill us. It's never killed me before, but uh, there always is a chance. Stay in as far right as possible. We're going to walk up to this body. Before we get up to it, we're going to hit a prone. We're going to slide all the way back into it. W. Stay crouched and stay to the right. You don't want to activate any mines up top. And then you just stay as far right as possible. There's going to be an invisible wall here. 
that starts right past this front rock in as this one begins here it is and then you just stay to the right as possible there's going to be one more mine right here and then we are home free boom ggs and that's how you get across the island now one thing to keep in mind when you do loot up all the guards in zarachi um, if you're going to go back across um if you jump across the wall just make sure you retract your steps you don't want to set off any of the other mines and then if you do come out of the front door you want to make sure that you hug the wall and stay to the left that way you don't activate any of the front claymores as you can see they're all over the place so you just hug to the left run through the wall and then you're good to go just retrace your steps on the way back and you should be good here is Arachi in his free half a mil mask. Oh, hit the beanie too. Ruble. So yeah, there you guys have it. Hopefully this helped you guys out and good luck on your Zarashi farm.